Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can get perfect pelts every time you hunt animals in RDR2, as well as some information on hunting legendary animals as well. So by now, I'm sure you guys know the benefits of hunting. You can cook and eat a lot of the types of meats you get at a campfire. You can donate animal parts and carcasses to Pearson at the camp. You can sell many animal parts at butchers or general stores or trap Trappers. You can even make legendary talismans and trinkets and outfits with some of the skins you find. So hunting is very important. However, there's a lot of ways to do it wrong and there's only a few ways to do it right. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the way in which you can do that right. So when it comes to hunting, there's two things you need to keep in mind. Animal quality and kill quality. So let's start with animal quality first. So you can discover the animal's quality by focusing on it through a scope or binoculars, and then you can study it. And then an animal's quality is gonna be revealed in the info window by the number of stars next to the creature's name. One star is poor, two star is good, and three star is pristine. The one that we want today is a three star pristine. Honestly, if you don't see a three star animal, you might as well ignore it. It's not really even going to be worth it. So that's what you want. You want those three star animals. The next thing is kill quality, which determines what part of the body you hit and what weapon you use. So for this, you sort of need to use a little bit of real life logic as well. Like for example, fatal damage and critical damage might be to the lungs or the stomach and fatal damage might be to the brain or the heart. It's very simple. You just have to sort of apply like real life logic. You know, if you were going for a kill on someone, you would want to hit them in the heart, head, vital organs, stuff like that. And it also depends on the weapons you use. Depending on the size of the prey, there's certain types of weapons and ammo that are better suited than others for a clean kill. So animals come in five different sizes, small, moderate, medium, large, and massive. And depending on what size animal you have, you might have to use a different weapon. And for this, you sort of just have to use a little bit of logic and common sense too. Like you wouldn't hunt an elk with TNT. You know, you're not going to get a good pelt quality. You know, just like you also wouldn't hunt maybe a rabbit with a massive rifle. You know, that's not going to work either. You're going to blow it to shreds. So you sort of just have to pick and choose. For me, I have the best luck with uh, rifles, snipe rifles, and repeaters. And then for the smaller uh, animals, I like to use the bow and arrow. And obviously, if you're going for those fatal and critical shots, head, heart, you're going to get the perfect pelt. So in summary, the only way to get a perfect pelt is if you find a pristine animal and your kill quality is perfect. So that would be finding a three-star animal and then having a perfect kill quality. And that will give you a perfect grade animal part. And uh, that's the one you want. And why do you want a perfect animal part? Well, for two reasons. Number one, there are some outfits in the game that will only be able to be created if you have a perfect animal pelt or perfect animal parts. And number two, if you're in the interest of selling them, they sell for more money if you have a perfect animal pelt. So it's just in your best interest to only go for ones that are perfect. So once you get the hang of it, it is very easy. I would honestly recommend starting on maybe some animals that don't necessarily move all that well. So one animal that I think is perfect for this is the alligator or the crocodile because they don't move. So they're stationary. You can literally just like find the three star one and line up a perfect shot and then you can go skin the animal. So once you get a little bit of practice of identifying the pristine, the three star animals, and then once you figure out, you know, what weapon is going to work best for this situation, uh, it's pretty easy. Now, another useful tip for this is eagle eye and dead eye. So eagle eye is going to allow you to track the animals, especially if it's in bushes or a more wooded area. It's going to be way easier to follow, and it will also sort of give you an outline of the animal itself. And then Deadeye will allow you to get that perfect shot. You can even use Deadeye with a bow and arrow. 
So that'll allow you to get the heart or the head or one of those vital organs that you're going for. So use all the tools at your disposal here while hunting. Of course, use some common sense as well. You wanna crouch, you wanna be a little bit more stealthier. You don't wanna go in guns a-blazing. And also, specific ammo type is important too, as I sort of mentioned earlier. Uh, so all of those factors will lead you to get perfect pelts in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now let's talk about legendary animals. So there's 16 legendary animals in Red Dead Redemption 2 scattered all throughout the world. And you're going to have to find them. And the way you find them is through investigating a series of clues throughout the area. Now, depending on what the area is, this can be super complicated or super tricky. Uh, so I'm actually going to be hunting two legendary animals in this video. One was a little bit easier and one was a little bit harder. So this first one was this wild boar. And you basically just need to find clues in its general area that will tell you where the animal is. Now from there, what you wanna do is use eagle eye to sort of track where the next clue is. Basically, you're just trying to get to this animal's last known location. Now this next bit is important because you kinda of wanna throw away everything I just mentioned um, in terms of hunting legendary animals. Kill quality does not matter when you take down these unique creatures. The items that they yield are gonna be unaffected by the means of their death. So you can take them out with your most lethal firearms. And if you're planning to face a legendary animal, you wanna make sure you're equipped with powerful weapons and ammunition. I would definitely have rifles, snipe rifles, or the bow with poison arrows. So when you're hunting the legendary animals, you do not have to worry about the kill quality and you don't have to worry about the animal quality as well. All legendary animals are automatically three stars by default. It's not like your game is gonna give you a one star legendary animal, that doesn't happen. Uh, you can use dynamite, you can use explosive shotgun slugs. It doesn't matter how you go about hunting the animal, as long as you are, are able to get the kill, you're gonna be able to get the pristine pelt. So there's a big difference between legendary animal and normal animal. Now I mentioned this in one of my videos the other day, but legendary animals are one of a kind and once you kill them, they will not appear again. So you need to make sure to skin them and take all loot, don't leave anything behind. Now this is also important to note. If you do leave anything behind, note that irreplaceable parts required to create any uh, related talismans or trinkets are automatically sent to the trapper. So if you can't carry something on your horse uh, because it's full or in your satchel because it's full, note that all required parts to make items in game will be automatically given to the trapper. So you won't have to like go back and try and find it or something like that. The game doesn't make you get that specific. And the last thing we're gonna be discussing today is actually carrying the animal stuff that you loot. A lot of people think that you can only put one thing on your horse. That's actually not true. Your horse is pretty strong. You can load it up with multiple different skins, pelts, and carcasses. You can have the carcass of one medium or large animal, or the pelt of one massive animal across the back of your horse. The carcasses of two moderate animals hooked on either side of the horse multiple pelts of large, medium, and moderate animals draped over the back of your horse, and small animal parts can be stored directly in your satchel. So there's a lot of different combinations here. Just because you see one thing on the back of your horse doesn't necessarily mean you can't store anything else. So keep that in mind while you're hunting that you can have multiple things on the back of your horse, and if you have another horse following you, you can use that as well. Now a few more things before we go today. There's a couple more things you can use that will give you the best chance to encounter the creatures you seek. The first is bait. Bait is going to attract wild animals, so use that if you're having trouble getting them. And then cover scents will make it harder for animals to detect your presence through smell. So if you have an animal that's skittish and runs away really easily, use cover scents. Now a couple more things as well. Parts from animals that are rare in a region like for example, alligator parts in Valentine can be sold for 25% more than in a region where they are common. And if you're an owner of the special or ultimate edition of the game, animal parts will sell for 10% more. So another added bonus if you bought one of the enhanced versions of Red Dead Redemption 2. So anyways, that right there is how you can hunt animals in Red Dead Redemption 2 to get pristine, perfect pelts 100% of the time and also how you can go about most effectively hunting legendary animals 
as well. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Just like hunting legendary fishes, which I think hunting animals is a lot easier. The, the fish reel mechanism, that thing is tough after a while. So I actually think that hunting land animals is much easier. So if you wanna get started doing that, you can. It's a great way to get rare items and make money if you sell to the butcher uh, and the trapper. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video, that'd be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. Without the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.